So for the rest of the day, we will see the rain and some brief gusty winds, but mainly because we're going to start moving that rain on out of here and cooler temperatures start to move in. So we've already hit the warmest part of the day. You're, you're feeling it right now. Our temperatures are just going to continue to plummet once the rain stops. This is the live shot right now of Tuscaloosa and Bryant Denny. You can see wet roads there around the campus and this particular temperature map paints a pretty decent picture. This is what's happening right now. There's 70s in portions of South Alabama. We have 60s into our southern counties and then 50s in Birmingham. I think you're getting the memo here. Colder air on tap, but it's going to be probably about six to eight more hours before we really start to feel that cooler air. Futurecast does a great job at pinpointing the exiting of the main line. Still some showers linger through about one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Still seeing the back edge of that rain. It's another quick moving front. We clear out though for Hamilton, Haleyville and Jasper by five o'clock this afternoon. And that's when the temperatures really start to move down once those skies start clearing out. So the rain chances will move out of the four class shortly around two or three o'clock in the afternoon. And then we start drying out and cooling down almost in the 30s in Birmingham after about midnight. Your seven day forecast still shows if you're going to be out today, it is an impact day. So if you download our WBTM 13 app, you can get that radar and kind of watch it with us as we start to see that rain moving out. Temperatures may be a little frosty tomorrow morning, but it will be breezy and a lot colder with highs in the 50s. Another system will arrive heading into Friday. This is an upper level system, so it leaves us a little bit cloudy with temperatures in the 60s on Friday and then some passing cooler showers, but temperatures stay above freezing, so we won't have to worry about that winter weather aspect.